Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm re reviewing an ink by Robert Oster. This particular ink is an exclusive with Pulp Addiction here in Australia. It is Blue Addiction. Uh, Pulp Addiction, as I said, is a retailer here in Australia. I bought this full price from them. Uh, this is the only place you can get this ink, and I think it's a really great ink. So uh, head over, and uh, Robert Oster's inks, you know, made in Australia, you know, um, 50 mil bottle that is environmentally friendly plastic, or, or as environmentally friendly as plastic can be. Uh, just a really great brand, and uh, this ink is very, very cool. And this is what it looks like on a colouring card. So Blue Addiction, I don't think is technically a blue. I think it's a teal, and I think it's a very, very dark teal, almost a blue-black teal. Uh, you can see in the uh, writing, you get a bit of shading, and that deep teal sort of blue-black in the, the darker shading there, really beautiful, some nice sheen, uh, and then some lovely sh uh, shading there that comes through. Here we see it on Tomo River paper. This is 68 GSM Tomo River paper. As always in the Bond Travel Gear notebook uh, that is no longer made, but it's standard 68 GSM Tomo River. I had it in two pens, and the one I've got it in here is the Zizo Incognito with a medium um, nib on it. A very, very cool pen. It writes very, very nicely, and this ink is great in it. So let's talk about these five points. The first one I said is it's Australian. Robert Austin makes all these inks here in Australia. Uh, showing Australian colours, and Pulp Addiction, of course, uh, which the second point says is a collaboration with Pulp Addiction, is an Australian retailer who started stocking Robert Oster inks uh, and collaborated on this ink, uh, hence the addiction part of their title. Um, I put here my ideal colour, and this is kind of funny because just before this was l launched, like only a couple of, maybe a week before this ink was launched, on social media someone asked me if I could uh, have a, you know, a color, an ink made up and made for me, what would it be? And I said, one of the inks I would kind of really love would be a deep tealy blue black from Robert Oster. And uh, well, Pulp Addiction beat me to it. And I'm glad they did because it's a fabulous ink. Um, I think it's a super interesting color. Some of that depth there makes this uh, quite unique. Uh, but also when you get that lighter shading, uh, it actually has real personality. And the last thing I said, it's a really nice saturation. So, you know, it's it goes on dark even the shading is you know rich enough to be able to be seen uh it's just got a lot of sort of nice and uh nice saturation so now the performance this ink has good medium flow feels nice in the pen as i said particularly in this zizo incognito really nice um good shading performance is okay now there is some bleed and feather on lower end paper it's fine on fountain pen friendly paper like there's no bleeding or feather we'll have a look at it closer up here and on some rhodia um it has fair to low water resistance, as you can see in the test here. You get a little bit sort of left behind, like a little faint line. It moves around a lot, and that's got a lot to do with the high density and saturation of this ink. As uh, I so said, it moves a lot. Uh, extras, some shade, no shimmer, and some light sheen. So it's that sort of sheen you get like around the edge uh, of some of the writing and things like that. So here on uh, Tom River, you can see like it performs very very nicely in those two nibs the other nib i have it in is the twisby uh, go extra fine there's you know it holds very tight it's got some nice sort of gray tealy color there and if we look at the reverse of this page of course nothing sort of comes through it's very clean um if we look at it on rhodia this is the standard 80 gsm rhodia paper you can see once again it holds very nicely there's no bleeding or feather or you know if you look at the reverse the only space anything comes through is where we laid down a lot of ink in that little swab, uh, which gets some sheen and that kind of stuff on it. It's a fairly wet ink, as I said, it's got good flow, uh, and even in the extra fine there, we get a little, still a little bit of a, a smudge happening. So it's a nice, you know, it's a nice ink. When we see it on lower end paper, we do see a little bit of sort of feathering and bleed. So here it is on standard 80 GSM printer paper. You can see it's starting to sort of spread. The color's a little bit more dull. And on the reverse, we can definitely see some bleed, and um, it's kind of it's hard to sort of, you know, like this isn't fountain pen friendly paper, so it's not designed for that, but it is coming through quite a lot. Um, and then on the lower end paper again, we see a little bit more feather. I suppose the feathering is not too bad. Like it could have been a lot, a lot worse. Like even looking at that platinum carbon black there, like it's feathering a whole lot more uh, than the uh, Robert Oster there. And uh, on the reverse, it once again comes through quite a lot, even in that. Uh, extra fine nib.
The colour comparisons I've chosen today are Waterman Serenity Blue, because I wanted to put it alongside like a proper, proper blue, just to give a real sense of just how tealy, almost green uh, that ink is. The other ink I put alongside is one that I thought was like a relatively close match. It's probably a little bit more blue, and that is uh, the Herban uh, Bleu Austral in the uh, Essentials line there. So I think the Robert Austral performs better than the Herban, uh, but it's got, you know, a similar sort of tealy, dark grey kind of a... Uh, colour to it. If we look at that chromatography, I find it really interesting. I, I find chroma the chromatography, particularly some of Robert's inks, to be super interesting. There's so much depth, and we can see some of this, like those lighter blues at the top and those beautiful mid-greens here, they provide that sort of tealy undertone, and what gives it the depth is this sort of purpley, burgundy sort of colour that's right at the core of it, uh, with a bit of grey sort of built in there, which is sort of what we tend to sort of see when it's uh, been attacked with water. So the price of this ink, uh, I'm only giving the one price, which is Pole Predictions price, and it's twenty one ninety five Australian, and that's for the fifty mil bottle. And I think you know, for an ex once again, for an exclusive ink made by in a relatively sort of small run in comparison to you know big ink makers, um, I think that's a reasonable price, especially per mil. Uh, so that's not too bad. So the score I've given this is 4 out of 5. The thing's letting it down is some of the water resistance and some of that performance on lower end paper. Other than that, I think it's a nice exclusive ink. Said so being able to only get this from one retailer does make the exclusive element of this kind of nice. I think it's a really cool colour. It does have kind of average performance on some of those lower end papers and things like that. But when it is used in a fountain pen on fountain pen friendly paper and all of those kinds of things, it is a beautiful ink and that shading is just gorgeous. So... I hope you found this video about Robert Oster's uh, Blue Addiction, the collaboration with Pulp Addiction, to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me. Or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your inks, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.